I think if you don't understand how to talk about Jesus in a largely skeptical context, then that automatically shuts off your ability to talk about him at all. And so the ability to be able to address questions that people raise about Jesus and the gospel portraits about Jesus and the major themes and claims tied to Jesus, to know how to address some of those questions is actually pretty important for many Christians. Well, the reason for doing this project is it gave an opportunity to kind of update what the status of the historical Jesus discussion is, particularly when viewed from an evangelical point of view. There's been a significant influx of, of evangelical writers in the area of historical Jesus in the last few decades. And there's been a lot of discussion back and forth generally in the historical Jesus area. So we thought it was important to discuss uh, the status of historical Jesus studies in the context of people who are asking questions about method with regard to historical Jesus studies. It's also controversial because a lot of people bring in a lot of skepticism about the Bible as a result. And we're attempting to show that you can use the standards of historiography and make a case for uh, Jesus as we know him from the Gospels without simply saying, well, it's true because it's in the Bible. And so this involves a lot of um, detailed give and take uh, with the context, with the historical cultural background, with what others are saying about Jesus. And we're just trying to show in a variety of essays, in a variety of ways, how this can be done in a fruitful way, particularly with people who are skeptical about believing the Bible. Well, there's an overview with regard to how historical Jesus studies has proceeded, first in general, and then a second essay dealing with evangelical scholarship. And then the variety of essays just kind of dive into different aspects of, of that conversation. Some of them deal generally with historiography, the role of miracles, those kinds of questions. Other essays deal with particular issues, such as the portrait of the Pharisees in Matthew, or uh, how we should think about the Sermon on the Mount. There's another essay that's kind of a model essay about how to deal with a particular event, dealing with Jesus' examination by the Jewish Sanhedrin before he went to Pilate. Um, there are essays that deal with how interaction with the book of Acts and the way Acts is built is dealt with. There are a couple of essays that deal with the issue of orality, something many people don't think about. How did the events of Jesus get passed on orally before they ever were written down? And how does oral culture work? And how did oral culture work in the ancient world? The quality of what we have in the Gospels is going to be related to the quality of the tradition that feeds into the writing of the Gospels. So how did that work? What is community memory like versus individual memory? Because there's been a lot of work done on how memory works with individuals and a lot of work done on how memory works in communities and the difference is significant. And we're dealing with the Gospels, we're dealing with community memory. So it's those kinds of issues that we're dealing with as we work through the various aspects and angles of what it takes to think about events tied to Jesus. I think anyone who's interested in how Jesus gets discussed in a context where people are skeptical about what the Bible has to say about Jesus is an appropriate audience. I think pastors who get asked questions by parents who have kids who go off to college and who hear certain things about how Jesus is handled in the university context, that's the audience. I think students in the university who are in those classes is also a potential audience. I think campus leaders who work in those kinds of contexts also are subject to these, uh, are, are in, we're interested in as part of the audience. And I also think it's important that anyone who meets people who are skeptical about how they can talk about Jesus out of the Bible would be interested in at least a significant portion of what we write about in this book. And then, of course, there are the academics and the scholars who work in this area who would be interested. If you're someone who's heard serious questions about whether we can trust the gospel portraits about Jesus and whether what the gospels say about Jesus and the real Jesus match, which means if you're someone who's in the public square who engages with people who have skepticism about Jesus, or even if you teach in the area about Jesus and are trying to help others understand what this discussion is about, I really deeply believe this book is well suited to help you pursue those questions.